Chuck, you're back with Milton Daily Homes, and Old Milton is bringing the fire today. Today's list to me is awesome. I think there's some incredible opportunities, and we're going to start off with a really good one. It's on Bronte Street South, and it is a busier street. When you look at the actual map location, we've got the house here, and then you've got kind of a side lot, it looks like. And when you get inside and have a look at the pictures, you've got some nice nine-foot ceilings. You've got beadboard. You've got some nice high baseboards, good looking hardwood floors. And so the bedrooms upstairs, it says there's three bedrooms, only one full bathroom, which is normal for homes like this, plus a little bit of an office nook. And uh, so you've got even a little bit of a kind of a reading room. It's probably not heated, if I had to guess. And you've even got the ceiling wood. So really awesome stuff in here. The kitchen is kind of loft-like. And I think for the right buyer, I mean, if, if you're not looking for a townhouse, you want a nice big piece of land and a pretty decent home, this one could be the one for you. Um, definitely want to check foundation. I mean, this is still an older home. I would guess it was built before the 1950s. And so you just want to make sure you get a good home inspector in here. 369 though, Hey, can't argue with that at all. Okay, so Kerr Trail is at 390. It's a Moor side uh, corner, so it's a Mattamy townhouse, 1570 square feet plus a finished basement. And I've seen these models sell for 370, 380, even last year. And I think this one has a ton of stuff to offer. There's the family room, uh, kind of usually a half wall over to the kitchen. That's the front living dining. What may hold them back is that there's so much furniture in here that it may really feel a little bit smaller than it is. But I think it's very comfortable and cozy and they've got nice colors. They've got a granite counter here, uh, really good cabinets with the moldings on top. And it looks wonderful. It really has a lot of charm in here. And there's your finished basement too. And it looks like there's even built-in speakers. They've done some work and uh, some landscaping in the back. So very few people take as much pride in their home as these guys. You cannot fake pride of ownership. I talk about it a lot. 390 I think is a good price and they're gonna do very well with this model. Okay, so Scott Boulevard is at 419 and it's a, uh, a semi-detached and we're looking at a Millwood which is around something like 18, 1900 square feet. And what's weird to me is they've got this area here, obviously the kitchen, but there's no furniture in the family room, but they put furniture upstairs in the bedroom. So anyhow, no hardwood. And uh, there's there's couches that really probably should go downstairs to, uh, to add to the impression. And then you've got uh, the rest of the house. And it doesn't look like there's fencing and it does front onto a school. So I think there's better value for semis for this size a little bit more features and possibly even a better location because being around the school on evenings and weekends is good because there's really nobody there but it can get a little bit tricky sometimes in the mornings and and uh, for the after school pickups when you've got parents outside your house and kids sort of running everywhere so diamond is the next one 4249 and it's one of the three-story with a double garage in the back, there's really no backyard. I mean, the, the most grass you have is right here, and then if there's any parks close by. And so it's beautiful inside. It's only a three bedroom, but it's 2,200 square feet, which is a lot bigger than most of the townhouse models, which are usually about 1,600 to maybe 19, maybe 2,000. So they're kind of fighting in the range that detached versions of this home go for. Uh, now they are nice and they've got more size than usual. Um, it's going to take a real specific buyer that's going to write a check for something like this uh, when for just a small stretch up they can get sort of a backyard and basement and all the rest of it. Now I don't know if you have to kind of walk around that TV. It could be, be a little awkward but finishes They've uh, th they've knocked it out of the park here. I think they've done some outstanding work on uh, on the finishes there, and you can see how these are set up. So you've got your got your house, and then there's a little balcony, and then you have your double car garage. So this area here is above the double car garage, and um, wonderful stuff. Okay, so four twenty four nine is the price on that one, and it's just it's unique. It's something that's really. You know, we haven't seen a lot of model like that model in particular. There's not many of them with those kind of upgrades. So it'd be a tricky one to price. But Cabot Trail is the next one. Uh, by far the Chuck pick of the day. I said last week I wanted to give out a Chuck pick. I think this is tremendous value. It's a 58 by 129 foot lot. It's right in Dorset Park. Um, 
this price to me for what you get for the kitchen upgrades, uh, just wonderful stuff. I mean, you even look at uh, little things like you can see that the windows have had this sort of top transom all done. You've got moldings, you've got a second kitchen downstairs, so potentially you might have uh, a rentable area. And then you've got a good sized piece of land there too. So just fantastic. It looks like there's even a little covered area where you could have a barbecue. And uh, I'm, I'm in love with this home. I think it's going to go really, really fast. And uh, I could even see that one going for more than asking. So Woodward is at $459. And so the advantage of this one over the other one is that double car garage. And uh, it's a four bedroom as well. And there's an unfinished basement though, so it's like more living space up above with the potential to uh, to add on in the basement later. So again, a very good looking home in Old Milton, and you're on a nice sized piece of land, you back onto the park too. So just awesome, awesome stuff. J June 30th is their magic day for these guys. Uh, Ferguson, Quincy Corner, it's at $4.95. We're starting to see more Quincy's come out, and this one's priced a little bit higher than some of them. I think the tile work looks terrific. Uh, they've done a, uh, a tremendous amount of upgrading in this home. And if I remember correctly, this home was on the market in not very good condition. And I think these guys have done some uh, some some work in it since they purchased it. And you can see the hardwood landing as well. And uh, nice decor, nice finishes. The shower looks terrific. They're gonna do very well. It's in a great school district. It's, uh, it's a very close walk to Hawthorne Village Public School. And uh, these guys are going to be okay for sure. All right, so Holloway, four ninety nine, and so a little bit smaller than the uh, the previous one, the Quincy Corner. Lots of upgrades. It's a Heathwood home. What's probably going to hold these guys back a little bit is they've uh, this room here is kind of long and narrow. It can be a little tricky to to design, right? So there's this opens directly up to the kitchen, so you have to be careful where your couch goes. And then the fireplace kind of sticks out a little bit. So I could see the feedback on this one being that it might be a little tricky to position furniture. Uh, kitchen's great. It's got a glass backsplash, um, impressive uh, appliances, and you've got the under cabinet lighting, all the rest of it. And upstairs, the rooms are all nice size too. You get the glass shower and all those nice things that Heathwood uh, brings to the table. So being under five for these guys is certainly going to help them. And they say 15,000 in upgrades. They're good upgrades, okay? So the, like the 15,000 in upgrades on a Heathwood home is like $40,000 on a Mattamy home. Uh, Gooch Crescent, this is another Quincy Corner. So it's the same as 888 Ferguson, 519, four bedroom. And it better stick out. And it's actually, it says approximately 2,000 square feet. Um, it's 1878 from the builder's plan. So... I don't know, it says as per seller, so they might be using that to their advantage. Uh, quartz countertops, nine foot ceilings. Sounds like a nice place. I don't know if 519 is really gonna get them. Uh, it, we just, we haven't seen, the highest model we've ever seen for that has been uh, has been at 509, and we're talking custom doors. Uh, outstanding, okay? So these guys really have to be playing big to, uh, to get that money. Applebee is at 539. And it's 402 by 319, so I'm just off the top of my head, that's about two and a half acres. And no shots of the inside of the house. It sounds like it needs a lot of work. Uh, they've put some funny things in the description about being an outdoors lover for this home. Uh, twice they've mentioned that it's it's kind of like a handyman special. This thing is like falling over. It's kind of a weird shot to me to sort of see like a structure like that that's barely even standing. If you sneezed hard enough, you probably knock it over. And uh, and so there's a so they they've taken nice shots of the uh, the property. And so when you look in here, yeah, it's perfect for anyone who loves the outdoors and is not afraid to renovate and you're willing to renovate. They'd say it again over here on the bottom line. So just know that you're getting into a place that probably needs some work. And if you, I mean, it's a, it's a good enough price that the land is, is worth a pretty penny. So McLaren is at $594.9. And most of the time when we see stuff on McLaren, we're talking about much higher numbers than $594.9. And when you look inside this one, it has three different kitchens set up, including a separate in-law apartment on, on the main floor. 
And that's going to become a real desirable feature. We have an aging population. A lot of the baby boomers now are, are really starting to wind down. So having them live with the kids can be a wonderful opportunity. And you've got some exposed brick here. These cabinets are real wood. You can work with the colors there. You can stain them darker. A uh, bit of an office there. Nice open concept. I don't know if that's... It looks like the master bedroom. And it's so big that you can fit a bunch of stuff in there. There's a, a, a secondary kitchen. And then you've got another bedroom, probably downstairs. And again, you probably don't want drop tiles on a master bedroom. Um, yeah, nice looking place, really unique. And I think it's uh, it's it's going to do quite well. I think that this home has a lot of unique features and the ability potentially to rent two other suites in the house could really, really pay off for someone. Uh, Martin Street is the last listing. And again, I'm going to hand out another Chuck pick because I absolutely love this home. I think it's fantastic. It's uh, it's on Martin Street, and it's only uh, there's only five homes in town that back onto Mill Pond. So this is like a cottage right in the city. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic to wake up and like see ducks in your backyard on the weekends. You can see kids playing hockey on the frozen pond. I mean, that's a dream come true for a lot of people. And the home itself is 3,100 square feet. Uh, you've got wonderful upgrades inside, French doors. You've got these big, thick uh, baseboards and Wow, just wonderful stuff. You've got a nice radiant warm heat coming out of this place, a renovated kitchen, and originally it was actually a triplex, right? So you've got the ability to rent the third floor with a nice, every floor has a balcony. You could even rent the top floor to, uh, you know, to one of your kids or whatever else. So this, I mean, it combines just a really unique, spectacular home. There's the master uh, suite. It's on the second level. You've got a ton of storage space, which is hard to find. Clawfoot tub here. Just awesome. And actually, one of the pictures they didn't include was the pond, the view from the backyard. You actually have a dock right there on your house. Uh, wow, just just an unbelievable opportunity for somebody. And it was listed last year and, uh, you know, for whatever reason it didn't sell. Um, but yeah, you can see the third level, the balcony just up here, the balcony off the second level. And so each floor has its own and uh, just wonderful stuff. I can't say enough good things about it. And uh, so 86 Martin, definitely pay attention. You could walk downtown, you know, if you want to go to a restaurant or anything else. And uh Boy, I mean, if uh, if I was under different circumstances of not having two young kids and uh, not wanting to move at all, I would strongly even consider this for myself. That's how much I love it. So anyhow, that's the list for today. And if you have any questions, just give us a call. And if you want to see some of these really, really good listings, we are right there. So email us, give us a call as well. Have a great day. See you later.